ever walked into a makeup store looking for products to get as a beginner looking to start her makeup journey and you're confused and the attendants are coming auntie i think so this product is good for you auntie take this one auntie take this one and you're like what are the basic things that i would just need basic things i need in my makeup bag so if that is you and you're interested in knowing 10 basic things that you will need in your makeup bag kindly keep on watching Hi everyone, my name is Jokabel Pepo and I am a Nigerian based makeup artist in Port Harcourt to be precise. I am a singer and I am a soon to be presenter on this channel. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for clicking to see this video. So from the name, we'll be talking about 10 must haves, 10 basic must haves in your makeup bag. A lot of times I've been asked this question a lot, like, Joe, what are the basic things I just need? So let's get right into this video. Okay, the very first thing that you would need is a primer. Yes, a primer. Very, very, very important. You need a primer. What does a primer do and why do you need a primer? A primer helps your makeup to last long. It serves as a protective barrier. Like this is your primer. This is your skin, your moisturized skin. And these are the plenty of products that you'll be adding to your face. So it helps to protect your skin. It helps to decrease the production of oil. Yes on your face it helps to reduce the shine on your face so you definitely need a primer the second thing you need number two the second thing you need in your makeup bag is your foundation your foundation is your base it helps to cover those imperfections it helps to cover your blemishes it helps to just give you this very nice uniform skin color basically so you need a foundation if the foundation of a building is not firm you won't stand so your foundation has to be firm <laughs> don't mind me guys you need a good foundation that's the second thing you need in your makeup bag so the third thing you need in your makeup bag is your concealer why do you need a concealer they just help with that additional coverage after your foundation one and after your foundation the eye, your face is a bit too you know just flat and when you use your concealers you can help to redefine your face so they help to cover blemishes to additional coverage and that's why you need a concealer the number four yes word number four the fourth thing you need in your makeup bag can you guess 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 is your powder yes you need your powder to set that face after using all the liquid your foundation your concealers so you want to set that face to reduce the shine even if your foundation is as matte as matte can be as far as you're using concealers you have to set that face girl so when i see somebody that has a makeup done the first thing that me or for me that i look at that i notice is the eyebrows yes eyebrows are what defines your face really they define your face so eyebrow they define so when you see a properly drawn defined eyebrows so that brings us to number five the fifth thing you need in your makeup bag is your eyebrow pencil as a beginner if eyebrow gel works for you that's fine but i would actually recommend an eyebrow pencil you need it to feel that brow to define that brow to keep your brow looking popping girl so that's the fifth thing that we need in our makeup bag and i've told you why you need it it helps to define your face so we're at number six guys the sixth Thing that you need in your makeup bag is an eyeshadow palette yes I said it you do need an eyeshadow palette if you want to create at least a nice a decent look you need an eyeshadow palette probably with dark colors with light colors with some shimmery colors basically your preference but you do need an eyeshadow palette just to add some depth to your eyes and to just draw some attention to your eyes so that is why you need an eyeshadow palette so yes we're making progress number seven 
The seventh thing you need in your makeup bag is an eyeliner. It could be a gel liner, it could be a felt tip liner, a pencil liner, what works for you, but you do need an eyeliner. It helps to outline a nice shape. The eye shape helps to give this nice, you know, shape to the eye, enhance the shape of the eye. So it even helps, it somehow helps to make the lashes look a bit fuller. Yes, it does do that. So you need an eyeliner in your makeup bag number eight guys we're making progress so the next thing you need in your makeup bag is a mascara yes you do need a mascara mm -hmm. most times after applying shadows your lashes are a bit uh, they're not dark so you need a mascara to darken your lashes they help to brighten the eyes really and there are some lengthening mascaras that when you're done it's going to look as oh you have forces on like your false lashes but not lie is mascara i know it's mascara mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm sorry it's mascara so mascara will do that for you there's my go-to zaron mascara like that's my bae basically so that will do that for you a very nice lengthening mascara so you don't have to struggle to fix uh, lashes all the time so that's the next thing you need in your makeup bag on to the next yes guys the next thing you'll be needing in your makeup bag are lipsticks yes lipsticks they are as important as lipsticks are important yes you need lipsticks in your makeup bag, be it new do, but that's based on your preference, but you do need lipsticks. You want your lips to look a little bit defined with some pop of color, whatever it is that your preference is, you do need lipsticks in your makeup bag. Yes, yes, yes. And to crown it all, number 10. Yes, the next thing and the last thing, according to me, that you need in your makeup bag is a setting spray. Yes, I know some persons might be like, oh, is it really, really important? Well, I feel it's important. After using all of this, using all of that, it's good to just spray that face, let everything sink in. Ah, let everything sit. It's going to pre uh, prevent from uh, smudging, like, can't they touch your face like this and you're seeing this thing hair touches your this thing like this and you're seeing it on your hand and you're wondering ah, what's going on you know i know if you do a proper skin prep you apply your products properly you prep your skin properly setting spray well yes but i still need it because i don't like that powdery finish so i prefer this very nice finish so i basically like to use a setting spray so i think you'll like that as well you should use a setting spray and it helps to just protect everything just keep everything like i have makeup done and there's nothing here and we are not going anywhere you know i could carry this makeup all day my clients they always say that ah, their makeup will last from morning up until they go and clean their face at night so you do need a setting spray and you do need good product welcome to the end <laughs> That's so, I'm sorry, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, I'm glad I was able to do this. So if this was beneficial to you somehow, it was educating, it was a guide or it is a guide for you to shop for products that you basically need, not just to cross your makeup bag and you're looking, okay, what is this? Okay, why do I need this? Okay, so if this, is, if this has helped you one way or the other, kindly let me know in the comment section below kindly like kindly share and kindly subscribe yes guys please subscribe to your girl's channel i'm here i'm open to questions anything that you might have i'm open to answering your questions so thank you thank you thank you and i will see you in the next video bye